Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, my name is Frank Guest, and this is the Frank Guest YouTube channel. Uh, today, I'm lucky enough to be in the Poly Customer Experience Center, the Poly uh, Engagement Center. I always uh, get that wrong. I'm sure you're gonna you're gonna correct me, but I'm very lucky uh, to be here, and I'm even luckier to have um, uh, Megan and Elizabeth with me. Do you want to briefly? Uh, Tell everybody who you are and what we're going to talk about today. Absolutely. Thank you so much for inviting us to your channel. Super excited to be here. So I'm Megan Anderson. I'm an account manager at Poly. And I'm Elizabeth Patillo, the demonstration manager here at the uh, Poly Experience Center. Poly Experience Center. There you go. Or PEC. You could do PEC for short. So today we're going to show you a couple of different camera tracking modes on a few of our cameras. The E70, where we will show people framing, and then the speaker tracking and conversation mode and presenter mode from the Studio USB and R30 devices. Uh, thank you so much. This is, this is going to be a really exciting video, but before, before we get into any of that, I need to do a quick dis disclaimer. Uh, this is not a sponsored upload uh, from Polly. Uh, I reached out to Polly. Polly did not reach out to me, uh, and the reason why I did it is because I use Polly products uh, personally, and I use them professionally, uh, and I like them, and they get you know, two thumbs up uh, from Frank Guest and the Frank Guest uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so now let's jump into these demos. All right, let's do it. So now we're seated down at one of the uh, conference rooms in the uh, in the Poly uh, Design Studio, which I'm always going to say the name <laughs> wrong. Uh, and you can see actually how we're sitting uh, from my from my camera right now. Uh, and if we switch to uh, the E70. Uh, this is what it looks like, and maybe you can talk a little bit about what, sure. what we're looking at. Yeah, so right now we have the E70 camera in people framing mode, and so what that does is it just does exactly what you're seeing. It's splitting the screen and putting Frank and I um, as an equal seat at the table, give, you know, get, providing meeting equity for folks on the far end um, as well as the people that are in the room. And then if Elizabeth comes in and joins us, it will automatically adjust and have Elizabeth joined in as a third tile in the shot. And there she is. And there's people framing. So then it's, if somebody wants to leave the meeting early and gets up and walks out of the conference room, it's going to automatically adjust back to the two people that are staying in the room. So then if somebody in the meeting decides to stand up and say they need to go to a whiteboard and present, the camera will continue to automatically adjust and put us back into the people framing mode. You notice that I'm at a different height than Elizabeth because I stood up and walked to the back of the room and she's still sitting. However, our faces are still are in alignment, continuing to provide the nice experience for the far end um, and provide that, that meeting equity experience. And then if somebody decides to come back into the room, it's going to continue to adjust the layout again as a third person, fourth person. However many people continue to come into the room, it will automatically adjust whether they're sitting down or standing. And now I'm back in the room and I'm standing up. Uh, right next to right next to Megan and Elizabeth is sitting down next to me, but we all appear to be on the same plane. And that is people framing. Uh, I think that's really neat. Uh, so what are we going to go into next? Up next, we are going to show you presenter mode from the R30. It's also available in the Studio USB. Uh, perfect. So we are actually going to swap to a different camera now. All right, let's do it. So now on the R30, we are going to show you presenter mode. Presenter mode is just a mode that follows the active speaker or the presenter, right? So wherever you are in the room, if you're walking around, it will just continue to follow you and ensure that you're in the shot the entire time. It's kind of like a professional camera crew just following, following along. I feel like a teacher right now. Like I should be teaching you guys something. School's starting on Monday. And if somebody I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> and, if, if, and if somebody interjects from the table, it'll then directly cut back to me. You just got like it. I just did. And that is presenter mode. That's pretty neat. And again, this is the R30. So now I want to show one more mode while, while we're in here, and that is conversation mode. So we're going to flip it over to conversation mode so you can see the difference. So now on the R30, we're going to show you conversation mode. Do you have a nice summer, Frank? Uh, I had a great summer. It's, uh, it's been a little hot and humid, but that's the way it is in Northern Virginia. It is. It is. Did you go anywhere fun? Uh, I did. I went to the Outer Banks, went to uh, North Carolina. We love the beach there. Oh, nice. I just got back from the Bahamas. Can't you tell with this lovely tan? Oh, it's great. The Bahamas, <laughs> the Outer Banks. Yeah, I think I'd rather go to the Bahamas. Outer Banks is super fun, too. We're going there next summer. It is. That's great. So this is conversation mode. As Frank and I were in a conversation, it just went ahead and split the screen and put the two of us in it and cut Elizabeth out because she wasn't joining our conversation, so she didn't need to be seen. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Pretty smart, pretty intuitive for uh, you know the soundbar and all in one soundbar to be able to do something like this. 
Yes, I mean, it is all in one mic, camera, speaker with all of the camera technology packed into it. We've now moved to a different room. Uh, we are still on the uh, R30, uh, but we just needed a bigger room so we could test this uh, this audio feature or this uh, audio element. So what are we gonna test here? Yes, so we're gonna, we're gonna do uh, two audio innovations in this room. So the first is gonna be acoustic fence. And what that is, is it's uh, basically like an imaginary acoustic wall that's gonna be over here. So Elizabeth is going to clap and count and go backwards. And when she moves outside of the fence, you will no longer hear her. And then she'll move back into the fence. All right, I'll get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, it is. It's very cool. Um, and then the next feature that we are going to demonstrate is noise block. And so noise block will take out any distracting sound that is non-human speech. Um, so it could be the dogs barking behind you. It could be somebody tapping on the keyboard. It could be a bag of chips. I'm really hungry. So I'm going to open this bag of chips. I'm sorry. This is so distracting. I can't seem to get the <laughs> bag of chips open. Maybe we should turn noise block on. Yeah, okay. So we'll turn noise block on and then we will uh, play with the bag of chips again. Now we have noise block AI turned on and I am going to try and open this bag of chips again. I don't know why I cannot open this bag of chips. Why Let me try. So Looks like a lot of people have tried to open this bag of chips. Uh, maybe we should just uh, put it down, but you guys get the drift. Uh, it definitely takes the noise out of this. Yeah, I probably didn't need the chips anyway. So that is noise block AI. Yeah, a very nice feature that comes on this little teeny soundbar as well as all the rest of them in this line, right? Or all of them or just about all of them? Just about all of them. Uh, pretty much all of our video devices have noise block built into them. And I recommend turning it on and leaving it on and forgetting about it because that way you know that all of your meetings are not going to have distracting sounds going through. That's great. Yeah, thanks. Absolutely. All right, to recap what you watched today, we looked at some of our camera innovations, including presenter tracking, uh, conversation mode, as well as people framing on our R30 and E70 cameras. We also looked at our acoustic innovations on our R30 video bar. If you're interested in learning more about these or our many other Poly solutions, feel free to reach out to our Poly Experience program or visit poly.com. Frank, thanks so much for coming out today. This was fun. This, this, this was a lot of fun. You know, I, I really appreciate you letting me come in and, and see in your facility. Uh, and for all of you that are watching me, uh, that are watching us on YouTube, uh, if this is your first time to my channel, please be sure to uh, give it a thumbs up. If you like the video, uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Have yourself a great day.